there were so many amazing cozy games that came out last fall. I have been enjoying playing Lonesome Village, Potion Permit, Disney Dreamlight Valley, and Ooblets. You think it's amazing now? Well, wait until you see these six upcoming cozy games that are set to come out on the Nintendo Switch in 2023. I am so excited to share these with you. Starting with Shumi Come Home. Shumi Come Home is unbelievably adorable. All the characters in the game have unique personalities of their own with their concise dialogue. Concise, which I truly appreciate because I suck at reading really long dialogues. When you play Shumi Come Home, get ready to want to screenshot everything because this tiny world is incredibly beautiful and the cozy vibes is immaculate. In Shumi Come Home, you play as a very small mushroom who is traveling through the forest floor trying to get home. The whole game is set in a perspective from the forest floor which makes you just appreciate every little nook and cranny in this game. You then start meeting some NPCs along the way that gives you quests and tasks to unlock more tools and areas in the game. I actually play this game live on stream while some humble onion, the developer, and Fail Positive, the music composer of this game, were actually keeping us company on chat. They were kind enough to answer all of our questions and gave us stories about how the game was made. Is it their first game? Because if it is, it's super robust and cute. Uh, some humble onion has made a few smaller games on on itch in the past i believe but this is his first full-on one. <gasps> oh my god i'm so honored i didn't know legit when i downloaded this it felt like he's been like one of those folks that's doing releases oh my gosh some humble onion i'm so so humbled that you are here can i ask and it's okay if you don't want to say but can i ask is there like a story behind the concept almost <laughs> and also like did you write all of these there's a lot of stuff to write so shumi being a mushroom kind of just happened as i was designing the main character but i do love mushrooms the game itself was just birthed from my enjoying shorter cozy games more and more and getting super inspired by them to make my own and i'm not a mushroom expert to be honest but i do love mushrooms they're just so cool it does require a good bit of research writing these i can really see that there's like some love that came into this i mean look at this view can i just sit here and just be amazed shumi come home is coming to pc and the nintendo switch in spring 2023 so we just talked about a mushroom in the forest floor. Now let's take to the skies in Fluff Nest's Puff Pals Island Skies. Fluff Nest is actually a plushie shop that decided to create a game out of their plushies and set all of these cute characters within a series of floating islands in the sky. The art of this game is just so nostalgic and magical. I knew I had to have it. What makes Puff Pals Island Skies special are the characters and their own cute personalities and stories stories, beautifully designed biomes, and the amount of customizations you can do when designing in the game. There's also many different activities to do like farming, fishing, and exploration. And my god, just look at this art. I cannot wait until this game comes out. I actually backed this game on Kickstarter and their PC version is set to come out in 2023 and the Switch version is planned to be released in 2024. By the way, have you liked this video and subscribed to us yet? We have tons of Animal Crossing content, but I'm also featuring more content for cozy gamers like you and I. Liking and subscribing would be super helpful to this channel while we expand our content beyond Animal Crossing. The next cozy game I'm excited about is The Garden Path. The Garden Path is a stunning game. Its art reminds me so much of the movie Secret of Kells or their more recent animation Wolf Walkers on Apple TV+. In The Garden Path, you play as a gardener who is exploring and reviving an old garden. You can also farm, fish, and get to know the residents in the area. This game just screams cozy gaming but with an elevated painterly art style with a very wistful game soundtrack. It is also very much an exploration game where you unfold stories and activities in the game. The Garden Path uses real world time, much like Animal Crossing, so get ready to lose yourself. And the best thing about the Garden Path, there will be multiplayer and it will be coming out this spring on PC and Switch. Next up, Mineko's Night Market. This game has been long awaited since 2018 and for a good reason. Have you seen the art of this game? My good 
goodness. Please let me pet all the cats and have them follow me. So what's this game about? Mineko's Night Market is an exploration game in the island of Mount Fugu. It starts in a very familiar Ghibli-esque setting that is nostalgic of Spirited Away and Totoro. In this game, you get to pet cats and make them follow you around. <gasps> Wait, did the cat just started following me? <gasps> is it gonna keep following me? How did I do that? I love you so much. Oh my gosh, I think it heard me when I said I'll name it Lolly, and it started following me. I'm gonna cry. It's so cute. What is wrong with this game? Make friends with lots of characters and sell your crafts in the night market every week. The goal of the game is to restore the village by bringing in more business through the night market. Steam currently shows a planned release date in 2023, but there isn't an official announcement when it really is going to be released. But we do know that this is also coming to the Nintendo Switch. The next cozy game is so cozy, you can't cozy enough of it. It's called Mail Time. Mail Time? Uh, need I say more? What can be more cozier than living as an apprentice postman, delivering letters and packages, and along the way, getting to know the characters and their relationships with each other? Oh my gosh, it's a turtle! Oh, it's so cute! Look at his feet! Oh my god! Wait, 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 their name is Shelby. Do you want an autograph? What? Oh wait, I'll do you one better. A pick with the one and only future regional racing champion? I am so obsessed with this game's environment art style because you're in the Force 4 perspective and you can interact with everything. This game just invites you to jump and climb up your surroundings to see beautiful cozy views while you look for collectible items in the game. And did I mention the character customizations? You get to choose a cute little backpack alongside your adorable glider among all of the other different customizations that you can do. This beautiful cozy game is coming out on Switch and the PC in 2023. I have been waiting for Little Witch in the Woods' full release ever since I played the Early Access version on Steam. This game has coziness on max level. Little Witch in the Woods lets you play as a, well, a little witch who is on her way to spend the next few years in an academy for witches. However, the train she's on mysteriously breaks down and despite warnings from her talking witch hat, she just couldn't resist exploring the woods on her own. In the woods, you can forge for materials and items that you can make potions with as you upgrade your tools and learn more recipes. You then get to unlock more areas and more of the story of the game. Each character you meet has a backstory of their own that you can learn more about by talking and doing tasks for them. Also, for every critter in the forest, there is a unique way of foraging their materials that you have to learn as you go. Kind of like a mini game almost. I got so many! Oh my god, it's a squishy chub. Can I take a squishy chub? <gasps> I got a little squishy chub fur. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, I'm almost there. Stop. What is this? I worked so hard for it. It's a pumpkin terrier fur. <laughs> Little Witch in the Woods is a big nostalgia game for me because it really made me feel immersed in its world, like I was playing Harvest Moon on my Game Boy as a kid. I mean, who wouldn't want to ride a witch's broom around the forest and just go noom? Little Witch in the Woods has announced that their goal is to release the full game this year, but there's no official announcement of a Nintendo Switch release just yet. However, its early access version is available on Steam and has about 10 hours worth of content to play with while waiting for for the full release. Click on the video up on the screen for my full review and highlights of my early access gameplay of Little Witch in the Woods. That's it for this cozy gaming video for Nintendo Switch players and PC gamers. See y'all in the comments!